I saw you take over a UFC gym with your F3 this weekend. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't look like you were doing anything natty with those girls. What are you trying to say? Well, I don't know. The F3 girls are, they're my friends. They're fighters. Oh, okay. They're good. They're All good right. girls. Good. I heard you were an HR nightmare, though. No, hell no. I don't, I don't mix business with... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I heard. I heard you got robbed. <laughs> Oh fuck yeah! That was at the Vietnamese coffee shop. You got robbed. Yeah, uh, yeah. I was. I went. My stepbrother was in town. Right. I got a stepbrother with the same name as me. That's a whole different story. So your stepbrother robbed you? No. His name's Rampage. No, Quentin. <laughs> Man, his dad married my mom. Okay. And and his name's Quentin. His name's Quentin. You didn't know that? No. Wait, that's your name. My my stepbrother and I, we both have the same name, and we're a month apart. I'm older than him by a month. Wow, that's so crazy. he came to visit me for his birthday. Mm -hmm. I took him to a strip club, all this stuff. Blah, blah, blah. But it was Sunday, he was flying out. So I said, hey, let me take you to one of my, my favorite spots that I go to. So I took him to a Vietnamese coffee shop and the girls, you know, tits out and stuff. And he was, he was like, whoa, he'd never seen nothing like that before, right? So we just sitting there talking. One of my homeboys uh, show up, he's Vietnamese. He show up and we talking and talking business and stuff. And out of my corner of my eye, this 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 uh, like middle-aged, skinny Asian dude just randoms walks up to me and my phone is sitting next to me on top of the charger. And he grabs my phone and looks at it. And for a second, I looked at him, I used to work at a Vietnamese bar, so I thought maybe somebody knew me from the past, was fucking with me or something. And I looked up at him, and some just told me, just watch and see what he do. And, and he just casually just looked at my phone, thinking about taking it, put it down, and he grabbed my wands, because you tip the girl's wands. He grabbed my wands, looked me dead in the face, like he, like he fucking like, like the hardest gangster in the motherfucking world, with a simple face, looked me in my, in my face, and fold my wands up and put it in his pocket, and just casually walks off with his hand behind his back, like, woo -doo -woo -doo, like, like nothing happened. And, and, and my friend, my friend was sitting next to me, he heard them yelling at him in Vietnamese, my friend speak Vietnamese, he said, oh, 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 oh don't do nothing to him, he's uh, mentally, he's mentally ill. I said, yeah, I know that motherfucker mentally ill, he come taking my motherfucking money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But this shit was funny, he's just, just the most casual robbing ever happened to me. He, he stole $17. Damn. Hey, Rampage, wait, back it up a bit. You used to work at a Vietnamese bar? Yeah, I used to work at a Vietnamese bar. A Vietnamese bar. That's why I speak you're, a little Vietnamese. You were a barista? <laughs> what? I was a Did you bouncer. wear a top? I was a bouncer. Oh. I was a bouncer. I had to work. I had to work. I wasn't born with a silver spoon. My, it, no, I work at a bar and a nightclub. So these Vietnamese there. coffee shops, they don't wear tops? Well, they take them off. They don't wear bottoms either. Oh, really? Some of them. And they come around serving coffee? Tea. They tea. fill up your tea. You go, you sit down, you order your fucking coffee, and they, they, they most of the time they're dressed in, but then they make rounds where they take stuff off. <laughs> I think we should ask the uh, the Jackson Discord, as Bear would say, <laughs> if we should do a live broadcast from a Vietnamese. No, they won't. You can't even take. You won't even take no. You can't even take no picture in there. <laughs> but my stepbrother, he was like, my stepbrother. This is the first time I'm sitting there. He was like, he was like weirded out, but. I'm glad I didn't get upset though, because I, I would have felt bad because I, I was thinking about choke slamming that motherfucker, but then he was he's kind of like mentally ill, right? Uh, but yeah. then the the thing is, this would make me proud of myself. The the waitress got my money back. She said she went back to him and got my money back and she gave me his money. And he, his money was with it. And he had like I could have came up with like a couple hundred bucks. He had like a wad of money. Yeah. And she just gave me all his money. And I was like, nah, this motherfucker mentally ill. I said, oh, this money right here is mine. That's that's it. That made me proud of myself. Cause I could have Uno versus 